Happy Mindful Monday, Conscious Leaders. So I'm curious, how often do you find yourself assuming the worst? Or how often do you find yourself not moving forward because of a previous perceived failure and you're afraid of maybe making the same mistake? Or even maybe looking at when somebody in your work environment or in your life didn't show up in the way that you wanted them to show up and maybe perform in the way that you wanted to perform and then you assume that they're gonna do it again so you kind of hold that against them. And so this is these are really common things. So these are considered what I what part of the three blocks. So we spoke about two of them already in previous Mindful Mondays. One was limiting beliefs. The other was interpretations. And now we're talking about assumptions. And we basically, what happens when we assume things is that we limit ourselves from growing. We limit ourselves from something else occurring, the possibility of something different. From us seeing that maybe from that one experience there was something greater to learn from that. And so we're really coming to it from a very below the line state in the sense of that this is what it is and it's not gonna change and this is how it will always be and it really doesn't allow us to grow forward and to potentially learn or or experience something different. And so what we want to do in those instances is we want to really ask ourselves a few questions and we want to go ask ourselves just because this happened in the past, how might this time be different? Just just because this happened in the past, how come it it will happen in the future again. And so we just start to get curious, right? Bringing in the wonder questions that takes us from below the line and to, to above the line. And then we can ask ourselves a question, what would it take for me to feel comfortable in moving forward right now, right? Because we feel maybe limited or stuck in that one direction. And so just asking ourselves some different questions to get curious about how to maneuver around it a little bit differently than before. And then the, uh, another question we can ask ourselves is, how can I practice being open and not having expectations about this? And so again, the key word there is practice, right? It's just a matter of practicing something different. And so really these wonder questions invite us to look at things from a different angle, invite us to open up to something different. So this can be our own personal experience in any area of our life. Let's say, for example, exercise and dieting, right? We may have had every, you know, we've tried this diet and that diet, we've tried this thing. And, and with all those different experiences, we didn't get the results we wanted to. And therefore, our neuroassociation, our assumption is that whenever we diet, I actually gain weight. Whenever I diet, it fails. Whenever I start a new workout regimen, I don't stick to it. And we stop ourselves before we even start. When maybe we start to get curious about how might I actually be able to show up differently. Recognizing I'm different now, so in being different now, how might my experience and my results be different, right? So we just start to get, again, more curious. And then we can even look at maybe some assumptions that we have around other people where we're projecting our own pass on them. So for example, I have a client who um, she has a daughter that's a junior getting ready for college and her daughter's not that enthusiastic about going to college and she, it's her belief that she is supposed to go to college and that's what she's supposed to do, yet she has a weight problem and she's assuming that because her experience was in college when she had a weight problem is that she was rejected a lot and she didn't really fit in and and she had put all these beliefs out into onto her daughter that she experienced on her own self so she now has an assumption that not only if her daughter doesn't lose weight before she goes to college that she's going to have a bad experience but also if she doesn't go to college then she's not going to really be able to fit into life fully and fully grow and so she's basing her daughter's future on her past, which is just creating assumptions. And maybe if she got curious and had dialogue and spoke to the fear that she was experiencing or with her daughter and talked about and spoke about her projections on her, for, of her own past onto her daughter, maybe she can understand where her daughter's coming from and support the daughter in the direction that she wants to go, right? In addition to that, when working with other people, for example, with me, I was, um, I, you know, I've been working through some significant health issues and for a period of time I was in severe detoxing and it was really affecting more than I knew my neurological system. And so I was experiencing a lot of brain fog and I was experiencing the lack of, um, the, lack of, of, of the ability to focus. And in that, what happened is that um, the people that I was working with really started to acknowledge that, yet I didn't really even know what was going on. And so, 
what happened is there started to be an assumption that that's how I was going to perform, that that's how I was always going to be until it was brought to the table and they got curious around the way in which I was responding and the way in which I was showing up. I had the opportunity to speak my case and understand more about what was happening and then also got to be able to understand more of what their expectations were, were what their value were, values were, and I got to come to the table and set up, set the tone for what was important for me and the way I operated. So oftentimes these things that we look at as blocks or these things that we assume are problems that when we just get curious about them and we bring more questions to the table we have the chance to really really maybe grow from those instances and see different results so give it a shot this week start to pay attention to the times that you're assuming and get really curious and then start it to bring start to bring in some wonder questions around it so see what happens feel free to lean in to me and to one another and have a great week.